Hello guys and guys, today we're going to be going over Digiardi Mac X HD Video Converter Pro for Windows. Um, so with that long name, uh, these guys were generous enough to give me a copy um, to evaluate and review and stuff. So I'm just going to give you guys my first impressions and what I use it for. Um, I really do like it and I do actually use it, so um, it's not just a like blatant random um, review or anything. So anyways, um... A few of the features I like to use is obviously for the compression factor um, because it's an HD converter but um, it does compress the files a good bit and since I don't have the best internet it is a really great thing to do. So as you saw you can just drag files in or you can just go ahead and add them manually but anyways. Um, so we have our clips and uh, I you can convert to DVD you can actually make it into DVD files and drag it over to a DVD and stuff that's pretty cool um you can do it to any sort of video uh, mp4 abc blah 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 to youtube um that's really great but i actually don't use that i actually go to hd video and then youtube so um yeah and then you can do to an apple device um normally you wouldn't be able to play any sort of random video file on an iphone or an ipod but you can actually convert it to those files and then move it over from here. And the great thing is it like puts it into a smaller file so you um, it doesn't take as much space or as time to send. Um, and you can go to Sony PS3, um, PS3 HD. Um, I, I hope eventually they'll be adding the PS4 and the Xbox One under Microsoft. Um, but yeah, here you have Xbox. I'm, I'm sure it's the same thing. It's, it's going to be the same sort of file. So, um, I really don't think they need to add any more functionality. It just changed the name. Um, so anyways, here's Xbox, Zune, um, whoever has a Zune. Um, but the Surface, that's pretty cool because I know a lot of people that have Surface. Um, and then cell phone, blah, blah, blah. Um, just any sort of cell phone need. And then you can actually convert a video into music. So that's kind of cool. Um, so anyways, I'm just going to go over what I use, um, HD to YouTube, and then I like to go around 128, don't want to overkill on the audio, although 192 would be fine, um, and then just whatever, it's there, I don't want to change that. And then AAC, volume, don't want to mess with, actually, let's put it down to plus zero, because I don't want to boost the audio way past its, uh, breaking point there. <laughs> Um, video quality, I like to go about, um, 12 mega megabits per second, or 12 thousand kilobits per second same thing and then um 30 frames per second because you know that's the maximum that youtube really supports there um but format you don't really get a choice there and then i like to go h.264 because that will like reduce your file size dramatically and then uh keep aspect ratio i don't want to mess with that 1080p use cores i'm going to use all of them and then yeah that's pretty much it. If you had interlaced footage, you can actually de-interlace it here. That's kind of cool. And then you can even add like effects and stuff. So um, um, you can crop. That look that looks like it's the only effect as of now. But anyways, that that's that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, so I can just like crop it straight to my webcam or something. I don't know. Um, so that feature's there. Um, I would like to see new new effects being added and stuff. That's kind of a downfall of this. Um software although it's not an editing suite it is a converter so i don't blame them um so anyways and then you go here and choose your output folder so um yeah i'll just do it to my desktop or whatever desktop boom okay so set it to my desktop and then what i want to do is hit start after you make sure everything's okay start time end time um, good audio check and then yeah make double check all your settings and hit start and I'll see you guys um, when we get back and the original file was um, it was approximately hold on how big was the actual file yeah the starting file was one uh, 1.5 gigabytes and so we'll see how this uh, decreases the file size Alright guys and guys, so it's finished and now I'm ready to uh, check the file size on it. So um, here it is, it opens the folder where you saved it automatically when it's done. And um, so here is the file and let's check how big it is. So it is only 530 megabytes, 530 megabytes. That is like, that. that is decreased, it went from 1.5 
gigabytes to only um <laughs> 500 megabytes so that's really good and i can tell you right now i'm going to put up a little comparison there's pretty much no degradation of quality well, not anything noticeable of course there's going to be degradation of quality because um there's no way for there not to be but it's not noticeable um at all so it's really great um real quick i'm just going to go over some of the lesser uh, features of this program um which would be um first of all you can download videos from youtube so um okay you can add uh videos from uh youtube and then you paste the url there and then you can convert it to anything you want so i like this because um it's a little bit faster than um just a website um and also it just um i don't know it just works so anyways that's kind of my review hopefully you guys thought it was um informational um whatever um anyways thank you guys for watching i'll put a link down below if you want to go download the trial or something but other than that i'll see you guys later and uh have a good day see you later peace out